For starting my session, I want to say the many thank you for the organizers to have a super nice event, nice the World Camp event. Thank you. Today, I was talking about uh, no code SaaS and uh, full site editing. Uh, it is a fundamental part. Then the, today, I was talking about two things. One thing is the subscriptions. And other things is SaaS, uh, software as a service. And uh, the key message is uh, using the no-code tool so you can focus in on your business, what you want. And uh, let me, uh, this is a today's agenda. First, I'll be talking about uh, why we start the subscriptions. And the second part is uh, showing the example to creating the subscription site using the WordPress and the uh, full site editing. And finally, talking about uh, how to, it's time to read from the no code. Let me, introduce, let me introduce myself. My name is Hidetaka, come from Japan. I'm working on the Stripe as a developer advocate or devler. Let's begin my talk. Why we start subscriptions? Does anyone start, start or running the subscription business, your company or your business? Okay, it's good time. In fact, the, in, according to the report from the Zora, the report showing the company who providing the subscription service is uh, increasing more faster than the traditional companies. And there's, a, of course, there's a, so many reasons, but uh, it's one of the good example and a good, yeah. good uh, reason to increase in the faster is uh, this is pricing model. First, the traditional model is uh, pricing per package, and the uh, other side, the uh, subscription company is uh, new metrics, pricing and per license and the time. So the difference is a pricing model. Traditional companies, uh, unit amount by quantity. But the uh, subscription companies uh, adding the new part, the time. So the user using the, your service for a long time, we can get the more revenue and they get the more profit. That's why the and of course, the increase in the, the member or subscriptions, we can get the, we can get the profit and the stocking. That's why the company who providing the subscription is growing faster. The, let's look at the example of the, my the past company we call the Digital Cube. The company, 10 years ago, they providing the WordPress development service. They're creating the over 100 plugin and uh, contributing the nine open source project and making the WordPress site for the Japanese media site or Japanese agency. But uh, it's hard to scale up because, of, because the development service is, depends on the resource of the developer uh, the developer who working in their company. So maybe seven or six years ago, they starting the new service we call the Amimoto. This is a hosting service the, for developers. They starting the WordPress hosting service by monthly and uh, by annual. And they start to promote the uh, to the, not only WordPress community, but the AWS community and the other developer community in Japan. And we, and they get uh, new customers, not only Japan, because uh, subs this type of the package and the subscription service can sign in the not contact, don't contact to the sales member or marketing, but the customer can, can start the, the service by themselves. So they can get a new chance to get more customers. 
not only Japan, but uh, worldwide. But uh, they still have uh, issues. Is the, the issue is uh, the, they talking about the uh, performance and the specifications, but uh, the many companies members uh, who working on the marketing or sales or writer don't understand or hard to understand the, sp the specification or what WordPress is. So this, finally, they will start for the news new sub new SaaS for the old publishers. The name is a sister. Sister talking the not productivity. They are talking the story. WordPress is a, WordPress remain the maintenance cost or maintenance resource, but uh, compared to your site as a static site, we don't have to maintain the WordPress and uh, we can focusing on the creating the content, the publishing the content, the distribute or promote our products. So they they have in the two services. One is Amimoto for the developers, and the other side is uh, Shifter for the all publishers. And they get they still increase in the revenue and the company's members. The takeaway and uh, the CEO Hiromichi Koga say starting the subscription subscription service or SaaS, we can focusing on the talking about the user story or the blueprint or what success we what we can success, but before the WordPress development or helping the agency, we have to focusing on the specification or WordPress performance or how we have a skill to development WordPress. So we can focusing on the what users want. Okay. Let's take a look at the uh, three example to create in the premium membership site. First is uh, using the no code SaaS service. For example, this is a simple native WordPress site. Only see the public post, but uh, if users subscribe any membership, you can see the private post. Let's take a look at the, how to create it. The, the step one, using the subscription form based on the Stripe or Shopify or any other URL-based subscription form. And then using the iPass, like a Zapier or Yom or any other good SaaS service to integrate in the payment service and the WordPress site to create the new users for the subscribers. Then, using the user role editor any other, or any other similar plugin to modify the user role, to add the role with the private post for the subscribers, then we can, the, the subscribers and the member can see the private post if they log in to the, to the WordPress site. And finally, we just write like the premium membership post as a private, public, uh, private post. This is a really simple way to start to the subscription service. And uh, if the several payment SaaS providing the customer my page, like this one, so if user want to download the invoice PDF or changing the plan or unsubscribe our membership, you just add a link for this type of this, the SaaS hosted my page. And in case of Stripe, they have a embed, embedded pricing table. So we can provide a multiple plan for the subscribers. So using the, using the link base, the SaaS service is easy to get started new paid media or premium membership. But uh, of course we remain the issues. The issue is uh, it's hard to customization 
because uh, payment interface, my, uh, my page interface, is, uh, depends on the SaaS specifications. And of course, we don't have to, uh, we don't write any code, so the, the website looks like it depends on the WordPress specification or plugin specifications. So go to the next step, next way, is a useful, uh, using the WordPress plugin. For example, paid membership pro. This is a, one of the, my uh, personally favorite plugin to provide in the premium membership. It's easy to create the, the membership required block. You can place the member only post inside this block and we can modify the membership level. So if you want to change in the content for that depends on the membership level, we can, we just place the, the content inside this block and check in the membership level. It's a really easy way to make in the paywall in the WordPress site. And the Z type of plugin usually providing the page generation features. For example, this plugin creating the two, four, over the eight page for, main, for managing the, the customer information or membership level or profile. So we can focusing on the writing the content or be, uh, creating the user interface. And uh, some plugin have uh, pre-built membership level features. So if you want to free trial, hmm? if you want to free trial, just select the free. And uh, if you want to do the annual and the monthly, choosing the monthly and the annual. So using the useful plugin is a easy, uh, faster than, faster way to set up and configure and the get ready, but uh, of course, we need to look for the good plugin to match your business or your website, what you want. So sometimes it might be the long trip to looking for the best plugin. And the final way is uh, creating the new custom block. So if you want to the customize you can create in the dynamic block, like in the PHP code, and uh, yes, this in the taking the the render dynamic block, taking the membership level, and uh, if the membership level is matched, you can land the block. But if not, show in the another upsell or subscription form contents. Of course, it's fully customizable, but uh, it's non no code. So you can choose the three ways. Using the URL based or ranking SaaS service is the most fastest way to start a subscription business. And using the powerful plugin and look for the powerful plugin is the easiest way to start a membership or premium site. And if you want to more customizable or more complex pricing or complex subscriptions, sometimes you need to write a PHP code, a JavaScript code. Oops, my speaking is a little bit faster. <laughs> and uh, finally, let's talk about how to expand the business. Using the no-code tool is a very faster way and the easiest way to start a subscription and the membership program, but uh, sometimes we want to customize the workflow or customize the user interface or uh, providing the complex pricing model. We need to think about uh, how to migrate from the no-code service. And uh, in my experience, the, the, this case is uh, it's time to migrate from the no-code service. One is uh, customizing the design or user experience. So, and uh, 
yeah, sub complex subscription plan is uh, like in the user usage base or tier base or package base pricing. It's the several payment gateway service providing the Z type of the pricing model, but uh, the no code service or plugin service is. Uh, Usually doesn't uh, provide in the Z type of the complex plugin. So, if you want to, uh, if you want to provide in the pricing model, like uh, you can read uh, premium blog post uh, depends on what you read. So you need to track the user what we read in this month, and uh, put in the calling the API to track. What user? How many? How many posts did user read at mass and uh, calculate the pricing? It's time to migrate from the no code service. So, and uh, sometimes we like to use a all-in-one plugin or all-in-one platform. That's uncomfortable part of the using the no code tool because uh, if you want to create in the create in the membership site or subscription site sometime you need we need to use uh, multiple SaaS like uh, stripe zapier or sometimes the uh, kinton or line whatsapp and so many 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 SaaS account and they, we need to manage the the type of account but uh, if you create a custom plugin or custom, custom tools inside of WordPress, you can unify the management interface inside of WordPress. It's like a WooCommerce or like a premium membership pro. So if you want to unify two or depends on the audit, you need to unify to create the plugins. And uh, thinking about the migrations, the most important part is uh, what is, where is uh, the customer's data hosted in. For example, the WooCommerce having, WooCommerce saving the customer data like a billing address, the name or email address inside the WordPress database. Then in case of the Shopify or Stripe or PayPal, they, they, they host the customer's data inside their service data. So if you want to read from no code or no code plugin, you need to migrate their customer data or plan pricing data, or sometimes we need to pick up the payment information like a credit card or bank transfer or like that. So you need to think about the, for example, this is an example of the Stripe the various the checkout interface, you can, you can sync the data through the webhook or WordPress filters to the back office service. So we can sync this type of the data to the, from the paper or Shopify or WooCommerce or any other plugin to provide in the premium membership and they're sending the, this data to using the hook or web hook to the WP user or any other you, the database you host it. So if you want to provide in the subscription service or any other payment service using the no code tool or no code SaaS uh, and a plugin, you need to think about the uh, using the iPass to sync this type of data or how to export this type of data. So today uh, I was talking about, I talked about the fundamental of the starting the no code and the creating the subscri subscription site using the full site uh, block themes that uh, you, of course you want to know and I want to know What's the plugin the really best for my subscription site or my web applications? The, today is a WordCamp Asia. Today is a 
to the day talking about the WordPress. So I want to ask you about the good your experience about uh, using the providing the subscription service or creating the plugin or full site editing and uh, let's talking about uh, this topic about uh, WordPress subscription SaaS and also payment. Okay, uh, a uh, little bit early, but uh, I published the presentation in this QR code, and uh, I have a Twitter account and uh, email. So if you curious about uh, my presentation or no code SaaS more deeply, please feel free to mention me, or let's talk in the, in the sponsor areas. Thank you for listening to my presentations.